Hello, movie club. This is Caffeine Jedi, and we're talking about Clueless. This movie really shows its age. I mean, I get it. I guess in the movie, they're supposed to be like really rich, like a ritzy rich family and friends and group of kids or whatever the hell they're supposed to be. But damn, like take one look at the technology and you're like, holy crap. It's like I'm back in a 1990s time warp. Oh my God, my cell phone's ringing. Hello? Oh, I think my beeper's going off. The also trademark never been used again 90s language seems to be very prevalent throughout the film. That was the bomb! Oh my god, whatever! I wanna watch a Christian Slater movie! So who actually is in this thing? Uh, so we have Turk. I don't remember the actor's real name, but you know, the guy from Scrubs as the blackest white guy ever. Or the whitest black guy ever? I, I, I couldn't really figure it out. I'm gonna use my wonderful hand cream now. Brought to you by Nivea. And we have a fucking ugly ass Brittany Murphy. God rest her soul. Poor thing, cause she looks busted in this freaking movie. Yeah, she seemed to have a little bit of a mustache going on and rather unseemly wild eyebrows that I just could not stop staring at through the entire movie. I'm getting kind of thirsty. I guess I'll have a can of Coke. Mmm. That sure is refreshing. And then as our main character, we have horrible Batgirl, Alicia Silverstone. And I guess to play this dim-witted character that is Cher, she did an all right job. I mean, what can you say? The dialogue in this movie is awful. It is awful. The plot is awful. It is just awful. It thinks, I almost feel like I'm wondering whether the movie thinks it's more intelligent than it is. Or is it really just that stupid? I just can't figure it out. So I guess the plot, if there even is one, is like, this is Cher, and this is her life, and this is the random crap she does all day, and she loves consumerism, and helping people, and guys, and typical teenager girl vapid crap. Guess I gotta get rid of this poofy hair with this Tresemme straightening iron. Oh yeah, and then she falls in love with her hipster stepbrother. I guess he was like a hipster before that word even existed, but that's exactly what he was. All in all, God, I, I couldn't stand this movie. I couldn't. It was like one of those movies that you watch as a kid and you think, wow, this was so great. I can't wait to be a teenager. And then you grow up and you realize that that's not real life in any aspect whatsoever. There's something else I'm missing about this movie. I just, what is it that I wanted to mention that I just can't figure out? Just can't quite figure out what it was.